Hi friends, it's Shanna. Shot glorious day on this prom night at Zap Hall Spring Show 2021. And I have been waiting to introduce you to Jason Tedder here in Zap Hall, who has what he calls reclamation art. Um, and I won't spend too much time trying to describe it. I want you to see it as we walk in. I shared a little bit of a preview peek. Uh, but we're just going to go in and talk to him and let uh, let him tell us uh, more about it. And uh, I think you'll be fascinated and really enjoy this visit. So let's go meet Jason. A little Zap Hall prom night twirl here on the field. The history, He's right across from the historic Zap Hall. And we'll just do a little bit of a panorama so you can see why. I wanted to wait until evening for you to meet Jason. I love the whole feel of this coming in at night. So here we go, we'll find him. We'll find him, we'll find him. He's in here somewhere. There he is, <laughs> Jason, yay. Awesome, I'm so glad we have this time now before the show runs out. It is, don't say that, don't say that word. So I'm so psyched for them to be able to see your art, your work. Why don't we start with kind of where it birthed out of for you? Most definitely. It just kind of grew from taking old scrap metal from farms and kind of creating things. Uh, first things were kind of flowers, and it grew into the flowers, and the light pictures faded, and people were kind of digging it. So uh, decided to kind of take this, uh, take this venture and uh, just kind of led in a lot of, a lot of, a lot of opportunities and different things. Uh, just kind of in my travels, find pieces that inspire me and unique pieces to work with. Yeah. It's kind of what we do is make new pieces that are kind of fun and speak to you. Also have a good function as well. Yeah. And do you do mostly lighting now? Most definitely. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of what speaks to me. Um, I play a little bit with tables every now and then. I love fun chair, but light is kind of always a good thing. Yeah. Well, the effects with the materials that you use are really striking. So maybe let's talk about a few of them. How about if we start with this big one right here? Sure, most definitely. This is just flat bar metal. It's just been rolled. Uh, okay. Made into bands and then kind of built the sphere out of. I focus in a lot on the patina in my life I love coloration. Just kind of interesting to look at. Yeah. But, uh, you know, also a bunch of... Yeah. There we go. We're back on. Hi, Susan. Susan actually tunes in for a good number of the live videos. Maybe she can tell us if uh, if that cut out for a bit. But um, yeah, so you were just saying, in case we did miss it, this piece here is made of what? It's a horse manger, a hay manger, where they would feed horses. They would actually pull to the corn, the stables, they would put the hay in, that's what they would feed the horses through. Wow. So it's two pieces that I put together to make the fixture. Um, it's a big 50 inch wide fixture, three foot tall, but just a unique piece, you know, kind of one of a kind of thing. Yeah. Just find those things out here in the fields, the adventures that you have looking every day and shopping find those people that's you know the pieces that speak to you and kind of those people that you connect with that are selling as well right kind of makes your adventure fun really enjoy yeah it. and the big pieces like that where have you seen them used or where do people buy them for uh, lots of places i mean people love them like over big dining tables or over um you know entryways big areas over mm. um you know over their um their bar area sure you know just a fun piece that people are going to go hey where'd you get that piece from because yeah. i've never seen something like and like commercial and retail environments too, sure, probably. Yeah. 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 All yeah. Yeah. Neat. Tell us about this one. Wow. Yeah, this is this is an ag screen that I use for this. It's really fun. The piece is uh, kind of mimics the old crystal chandelier. Yeah. Um, the size wise, um, I like to do big pictures when I have big sheets. Um, but so tell me what that is. You said ag, um, ag screen. screen. They use it for a lot of <laughs> out uh, different ag products, uh, okay. raw materials, out things. Uh, but but they kind of sparkle almost like the crystal chandeliers. You get a kind of yeah. perspective when you walk. They just kind of sparkle in your eyes, and they're really fun. Uh, one of the first projects I did was a uh, like a big. Uh, they had a big glass door here, and you drive in the driveway, it just sparkle like one of those grand chandeliers, and it just really makes an interesting statement for people to you know ask about. I love this. And I love when you have the series like this, like three hung together here. So is this really one piece? Yeah, that's one big piece. piece you know, wow. Like the painter scaffolding, the, yeah. the natural colors, the paint. I mean, it's just something you don't see anymore. And just the texture and the color of everything is just great. Just kind of paired it up with these pendants. Uh, something simple, but what a bold statement it makes. What a statement. I love that. Just a lot of fun. And that's what I shoot for. It's just fun pieces that kind of speak to people there are all lots of flavors in here and yeah just uh, different things for different people and if you like something like this but it's a little too large scale most definitely look at this 
All shapes and sizes. They're so great. And I love just like the whole feel is so like, I don't know, textured and. It's hard, but soft. Like, like I said, it's kind of reminds me of a dainty crystal chandelier. Yeah. It's got that, 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 that little soft. And the way the light it. plays through. Sure. And this too was the same egg. Yeah, most definitely. A lot okay. of that's used in some rock sizing machines. Um, is what the ag tree for that's used. Wow. And yeah, same with these, things. like the big one, but smaller scale. Yeah, same scale. thing I designed, rolled around, just made some shapes that, you know, kind of fun. Yeah. And then these are great too. A different, yeah, like. Kind of unique vanity lights, uh, kind of accent lights. I have to say, I haven't seen a vanity light like that, but it's so great. Look up close. I guess let them see the textures and and the bulbs. Really cool bulbs. <laughs> it's like like this one. Look. Most definitely. Some of the fixtures, I kind of found the light bulbs first, and I was so intrigued by them that yeah. I, you know, they just needed a little compliment. So designing a little, you know, just a simple piece around it, but again, it just all works together so well. Yeah, I was just about to say, like dressing up a light bulb. Sure. Like I mean, a little coffee is. with your sugar for <laughs> right, people. <most> <laughs> like really sweet coffee. That's right. Uh, look at this. I love these. And so, what are these? Uh, again, just a piece I kind of designed and built. Okay, you just made that. Kind of okay, inspiration yeah. Inspiration kind of came from uh, the old safety cages on grain bins that you okay. used to, have to climb up. Yeah. Um, it's kind of one of those things, just the shape of it. And we can trim it down and kind of make some fun light picture. Yeah, I love it. All right, so tell us about these. Sure, those are cool. Those are old dryer tubes out of grain bins. Uh, they would blow air through to dry the uh, grain. But again, they start out about 10 foot tall, cut them down into two foot pieces. They really make cool statement. The texture, just the feel. You just kind of want to touch yeah. it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like a like a cheese grater. Though. <laughs> like don't cut yourself. And how do you have to do special things to suspend them? Like in terms like you have them chained up, but I mean if someone wanted to put this in their house. Sure, they're all like basically made of standard wire just like a light picture. They come with a canopy plate. Yep. Uh, they wire just like standard light pictures, but they're just kind of so no special Nothing things special, with any yeah. of that. Wow, so you could take any of these pieces and hang them in your house. This I love too. I mean, the long, wow, from this angle. Yeah, the linear's been great. I mean, it looks so fun over long tables, over islands. It's just kind of a unique piece to have one little piece that's there. Kind of piece that stretches, interesting to look at. It's yeah. Character. Plus, it doesn't break up the, uh, the room, you know. It's right. It's a fixture, so it's something that you look for, but you still see the character in the coloration in the light picture is just like I said again when I focus in a lot. Yeah. It's nice to be able to get in and get a look at some of that. So great. I love all of it. And these, now these are a little different. Most definitely the jet stuff. I fell in love. You know, like I said, I'm from Georgia. We farm a lot. So uh, we got John Deere and Rust back home. But when I came out here and saw these cool shapes and textures and new materials titanium yeah i mean these are the tips where bombs would be stored in i mean how cool is that oh my goodness um, just wow. fun shapes and i mean they're just natural pieces that are made like this but i mean again just uh seeing that vision of that light and what a coffee man. yeah such a statement and the shape is just so unique all right now we've got totally different going on here what are those? I'm not real sure. They just have good lines to them. They kind of remind me of like mid-century modern kind of style lines. Yeah. So just kind of piece something simple together. But uh, again, just what a fun little sleep now. I love these. And do those have a switch? Like for a table? Or? Yes, definitely. Just a yeah. switch. Just a normal line. Yeah. Gosh. So we'll just kind of pan through. So interesting. And this one too. Yeah, that's Jesus. a dryer tube. Again, dryer tube. But again, the way it glows, so you don't have to. Yeah. I imagine that would be fun with those, like, bulbs you can change, too. That would be really fun. All right, so let, now we've got some big things here. We'll yeah, take we a look at it. So make a way. Yeah, these are my favorites. These are uh, jet engine liners, uh, titanium pieces. I mean, just super fun. Again, the colors, the shape. Um, it didn't need much help, but what a statement it makes. Putting some bulbs in it, lighting it up. A little polishing. Wow. And you just have, you just started with like a home workshop. Like, let's sure, just start messing just with these messing things. in the backyard. And uh, now I'm out here shopping every morning and night, trying to find fun stuff to work with. Yeah, and this is something. Yeah, that's the hanger bracket for the afterburner. These are two tiered pieces that I kind of tiered down. Uh, they're the hanger brackets that actually hold the afterburner in place. Uh, 
just again, just cool pieces, cool line, but just a you know piece that probably cost hundreds of thousands of dollars originally, but now we're scrapped out into a cool light picture. Wow. The hanger bracket for an afterburner. I'm gonna have to go look that up. Yeah. <laughs> the things I'm learning. Wow, look at that. Brilliant, I love it all. Oh gosh, make sure I'm not falling here. All right, and then here, this is kind of same effect, but I love the sure, just tier vertical down. three tier. Yeah, big three tier. It's about five foot tall, um, about three foot wide. Just a nice for if you have high ceilings, but uh, again, just a cool piece that uh, makes a good statement. Yeah. And these clustered. Some little pendants, yeah, again, just kind of fun shape, something a little different than uh, the most, but good shape, character. Again, the coloration is what uh, Coloration really is speaks to so me. great. I just, uh, I'm such a huge fan. Again, the giant light bulbs, I just think they're a little common. Yeah, right. <laughs> Build something around the bulb. Yeah, the first ones you know. that I made, I found Okay. I love shopping up there, always find a lot to get. Yeah. Um, but anyway, these old vintage sand bowls, but they would do the sand casting. They would just be simple squares, but again, we can pair them and kind of offset them just a little bit, add a little bit of tension. Again, it's really made neat. Wow. Well, maybe we'll end on, I don't know if I want to end. But that's, oh, that's all one, too. I hadn't yeah, even noticed that was right. one. Ah. Yeah, that's a good flavor. It's about five and a half foot long, about four and a half foot uh, tall. But again, kind of paired with the pendants. I love kind of that. Down, give it that cascade look. Yeah. Again, just simple pieces kind of paired up. But, uh, really yeah. Another another situation where honestly, like when I slow when you know you slow down and take the time that you really sure. see it. Like I've been fascinated and wanting to get in here, but it's only when we actually slow down that I'm like, oh wait, yeah, that's all one piece. All Lots of fun pieces. Yeah, and this is one one giant floor lamp. One yeah. giant floor lamp. Look yeah, at this. Right. Look. Oh my god. Wow. One of a kind. Not the kind of thing you'll just, you know, <laughs> find anywhere. Oh, I love it all. And then right over my head, I'll do a spin here. What's that? That's a brooder line. That's a chicken brooder from inside of a chicken coop. They're kind of the healing elements from inside the coop. They have surrounding vegetables and gas vegetables. They're kind of taken off. I do a little routine on them and seal them up. They make great lights again in the mirror as well. Uh, super fun. Wow. So great. Well, I don't want to miss the mirrors here. Yeah, lots of flavors again, fun shopping, you never wish to find. Right. Did you ever wonder where like butt butt balls get painted? You know, that's what the, <laughs> Is that's it the really? Rack. Yeah, that's the rack where they paint butt butts. Butt butt balls. Yeah, I was shopping and found this guy that had all these mirrors and I was like, those are super cool. I've gotta get them and put them in a the space and uh you know they'll be coming back to Georgia. Wow. So, and you have like four, is that right? Oh no, five, six, seven. Look more. Yeah, I think I bought like 15 from him. Oh. They were just really cool. And I found out here before, lots of times when I first started, you know, I'd see one thing and I was really intrigued by it. But yeah. But now, like, if they have a lot, you know, yeah. support Make a whole business. series. Yeah. yeah. I like it, you know, help them out. It helps me out. And that's kind of how it works out here. We buy things from each other. We resell it. Yeah. The world keeps turning around. Well, and I love like seeing three together. Sure. You could like do a whole wall with like nine or it'd be really neat. Yeah. Man, this has been fantastic. Well, we'll do our little sign off. Gosh, I am so glad we finally did this did. on it was prom fun. night too. So hopefully that little piece at the beginning didn't cut off too much because what a great time here. So Jason Tedder here right across from the historic Zap Hall here at uh, the Brown Zap Hall Top. Field. 2021. Yeah. 2021 show. Here we are on prom night. Definitely find him. I'll put the links too so you can find it between shows. But what a pleasure it's been and your, your reclamation art is brilliant. So awesome. thanks for thanks sharing so your time. Bye Most for definitely. now. Bye.